Judy. Here. Aaron. Here. Dave. Dave's not here. And finally, Tinky Winky. Ah. Okay, good. Today we're going to finish up with your final project presentation. Remember that from each group, I'll need a five-page report on how your presentation affected 1960s American history, thus the name of the course. Well, let's get started. Now, where were we? Let's see. We already did the two blondes, I mean, Tiffany and Muffy's report on what they called Malcolm the Tenth. Uh, girls, we need to have a talk. Then we moved on to what will surely be the measuring standard for these type of projects. I believe the paper was entitled The Psychoanalysis of Male Mating Choices, Coconuts versus Coconuts, Marianne or Ginger, and why? Classic. And finally, lest we forget, we finished off the class with Juan and Jose's report, creating a rating system for 1,001 different types of munchies. What's the hassle, man? People, your research has been great, but I think we should have spent a little more time choosing the subject matter. Well, let's continue, shall we? Time to hear from the group of Amanda and Renee. Come on up to the front, girls. Well, Amanda and I's presentation is on, is on American pop culture of the latter part of the 1960s, 60s, specifically with music choices. Yes. After much thought, we were able to come up with an example of one band and even narrowed it down to one song to show the symbol of a certain counterculture that grew out of this time period. Indubiously. The time, the 1960s. The place, San Francisco, California. The band, Jefferson Airplane. Who would, in the next decade, rename themselves to Jefferson Starship. And in the 80s, they became just Starship. They still play today and are currently in the process of changing their name to Star. And should the band stay together for one more decade, they plan on calling themselves Stuff. Hit it, Ringo!
Groovy chicks, you get an A in Mr. Dry's glass. <laughs>